Okay, I am, I am really in a, um, like, depressed state right now. Um, like, I'm really in, like, a dark or deep sadness. Like, how do I, how do I describe this? Like, I'm in a hard mental space um usually time usually time helps maybe i mean or it can help if i i don't know it's i there's hard mental spaces that i enter that are like maybe depressive that are hard to get out of i have philosophized before about like you give yourself the time you need um to, I don't know, maybe to, like, look for positive things or, or like, kind of, like, keep your eye out for positive things. Um, but, I mean, all the, you know, like, I've done all this reflecting, like, all this, you know, like, I, I had a suicide attempt back in 2009, and, um, didn't work, obviously, um, and it was because I felt like my relationship with God was crashing. Excuse me. Um, and then after that, I had like. So that that would have been, I think I said already, two thousand nine, I believe. I think I said that already. But um. Um, like, that was the end of two thousand nine because I graduated from high school in two thousand nine. Um. So. And yeah, the suicide attempt would have been like towards the end of the year. Um, maybe like September or something or October. Something close to that probably. But like, so 2010, 2011, those were like, 2010 through like maybe half of 2011 or so was like my post-suicide depression days. Um, And, like, eventually I came to a point of, like, taking a stance against another, like, because honesty is one of my, um, is important to me or something that I try to strive for. And the way that, the, the, like, cycle that I would have got stuck in is that, like, let's say I feel suicidal, like, I would have had to report to, like, um, my... I don't know, is she a psychiatrist? Uh, something. I think her last name was Reeves, maybe. I th- maybe like Elizabeth Reeves or something. Like someone that my dad was an acquaintance with via work. My dad's a nurse. I don't know if he's still a nurse, but both my parents were nurses growing up. Um, my mom, I think, still is. My dad, I think, maybe he... I feel like maybe he said he wasn't anymore or something. Um, he was a man, there was a point where he was like a manager or something, and, but now maybe he's just not a nurse or something, I don't know. Nurse, then manager of nurses maybe, and then now maybe he's not connected to nursing at all, or I don't know. Um, but Elizabeth Reeves, unless I have the name wrong, is, was someone that he like knew from some point in his work life, if not currently in his work life at the time. And um, he had her look at me or talk with me and stuff. And like, so she was kind of like my psychologist or whatever she was, psychiatrist, psychologist, something. I didn't, re- I didn't find her very helpful. Um, there was a, there was a, um, there was a counselor that I eventually ended up seeing I don't know if it was in that 2010 to 2011 day. It probably was, actually. It probably was somewhere in that 2010 to 2011 time frame or something. He was helpful. Um, But, uh... I... Yeah, so so the cycle that I would have been stuck in with this whole, like, 
if like if if I was feeling suicidal, I had I had there was a point where I'd agreed with Miss Reeves or what, Dr. Reeves, if that's her name, that like I would tell her if I was feeling suicidal. So like because of my commitment to honesty or my or because of the value of honesty or however you want to say it, I was stuck in this. Like unless unless I were to like because I because she like I don't know if she like made me say that I would tell her. So like there's no way for me to actually commit suicide because of the honesty. Like it so unless I like informed her before I was gonna do it like unless I did some like trick of like telling her before um like maybe before I went and committed suicide. Like there's some trick that I like I don't know how like legitimately I thought of it, but like I kind of like um thought like I don't know how deeply like but I just I there was a thought that crossed my mind of like unless I like told I don't know what the trick was. It'd be, but like that would kind of fit into honesty. I, that I mean, there is a way. There is a trick that maybe wouldn't even be fully legitimate. But there's something that I kind of thought of um, that would kind of work for the honesty. But maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fully remember what it was. I don't know. I don't. I mean, what would it be? Would it be that like tell her that I'm going to before I do it? So technically, I told her. Or I feel like that might not have been it. It may have been something else. And whatever the something else is, I feel like it may not have, like, it may not look like 100%. Like, it'd be questionable of if it was following the honesty thing, if I'm remembering correctly. Or if my uh, intuition or feelings on the matter is correct, I feel like it wouldn't have fit with honesty fully, per se. But, um, so because of this cycle that honesty had me in, um, and the, and that, um, Miss Reeves or whatever her last name was, had me say of like, I would, whatever she had had me say of like, maybe that I would tell her if I was feeling suicidal or something like, it's just like, I don't want to, because then if I tell her that like, I'm feeling suicidal or something, then you get put in like, what, a 72 hour hold maybe or something like it's just the cycle that I'd be stuck in and Eminem is someone that uh you know people have been on Eminem for years me I'd like you know I probably heard of Eminem I've maybe listened to a song or something um I think I remember that my cousins like my female cousins from maybe New York or was it California maybe New York maybe maybe New York were into him like, I have little memories of, but, like, I didn't, I wasn't into them. But during my post-suicide depression days, like, the confidence, it's a confidence that new Eminem doesn't have. Like, new Eminem sounds like he's trying to, like, convince someone, himself or someone, I don't know. But old Eminem, he just was confident. Like, and that, that was something to me. Like, so I, I got into Eminem in my, like, in, like, 2000. I don't know if it was 2010 or 2011, but I got into Eminem. And when I finally made a stance, kind of, against the idea of committing suicide again, I made a poem that was called Eminem. And it was, uh, it was an acronym. And in this acronym, like, um, the small words, like, kind of didn't count. I don't know if, they're, I, I don't know if those are called art articles. Like, words like for, the, maybe they're called articles. I don't know. I could be wrong. I might be partially right, but so the acronym was existence is mandatory for Ibuku. Now expect a Marine. Um, so, and then, yeah, like, so I just, had a stance against it, like I, I just kind of committed. To, and in this poem, I, I, I kind of uh, doctored in, or Dr. Drayed in, <laughs> um, multiple Eminem titles um, into the poem. Um, if you were to look in heartfeltization and um, type in Eminem, you, you maybe would run into it or something that 
talks about something Eminem related and then I end up saying the poem maybe. I mean, you also might not find it because you might just run into a rap reaction to Eminem's Rap God, which doesn't include the poem, but. Um, it's interesting that I'm talking about this right now because earlier today I took time on writing, the, I wrote this long comment, right? So someone was, people were like getting on MGK. Um, like there was, maybe this was a YouTube short that was um, of Eminem's kill shot. It, so it was just a portion, maybe it was a YouTube short, but it was just a portion of Eminem's kill shot. And I would commented on this, like, not today, like before today, like I maybe had two comments, like, um, because people were getting on, on MGK in the comments and I was like, I, I said that I liked a nail in the coffin which is an Eminem diss track, unconnected to MGK, um, Machine Gun Kelly, unconnected to him, but it's an Eminem diss track that like, or a diss track by Eminem that I rock with. Um, so I had one comment that said that I liked that, and then another comment that was maybe a reply to someone who said something about MGK, like, it was some, some insults to, to Machine Gun Kelly, and um, I was like, I was like, MGK is doing amazing and he still raps. So I'm guessing the comments that I was replying to had said something about like that he doesn't rap, to, rap anymore or switched from rap or something like that. Um, the comment that I had today, so someone, so someone must have replied to one of the, to maybe the reply because I think that, because the nail in the coffin thing was, when I said I liked, or when I said that I liked nail in the coffin, um, I just, uh, like, no one replied to that. But So I think it's the other thing that someone replied to today. And I think that thing was, was a reply from, was me replying to someone else in the first place. So I think someone commented something, kind of insulting MGK, saying that he switched from rap or... Some, they probably said Eminem caused him to switch from rap because if you're not aware, Machine Gun Kelly is doing like, he's, he's doing like um, punk rock kind of stuff. Um, but he still does like rap stuff here. I, I mean, I feel like here and there. Um, so I think I replied to something the other day and then someone replied to my reply. I, and it may not even be the same person that I was originally originally replying to, but um, I had a long comment today that like, I mean, <laughs> it was a long comment. It was a good one too, about how like artists are like angels for us, or or songs are like angels for us. I talked about like some Machine Gun Kelly stuff. Um, not necessarily connected to the angel thing, but I talked about some Machine Gun Kelly songs that uh, were dope from COVID times. Um, Cause in 2020, this is where I got like impressed with Machine Gun Kelly, like specifically. Like I was interested even before 2020, like when he came into town and as a stagehand, like there, I, like there was, an, there was a show at a sanctuary and I asked, uh, my boss at the time, who used to be my friend, um, like if I could watch it, and he was surprised um, that I wanted to watch it, but so I ended up working that show and being able to see him perform. Um, I think he performed two nights, I think he performed two nights in a row maybe. Um, but, so I got, I think I got to see both of those. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think it was two nights in a row. I think he when he was there that time, I think he performed twice. I th I think it was probably two nights in a row. But so that was before like so I already had interest in him before 2020 COVID times where he was like doing these remixes, songs like In These Walls and and I mentioned these in the comments that I did today. So In These Walls, um Smoke and Drive. Um What else? What's the other one? Pretty toxic revolver. Um, even the "What's Poppin'" that Jack Harlow song, he did a remix to that. 
that was also kind of good too. So like, that's what really got me on MGK. And like, but the thing with the like songs being like angels for us, um, at parts of our lives, kind of a thing, or or songs being angels for us at points. Um, so MGK put a movie out recently called Taurus. That's, I mean, somewhat based on his life. If not really based on it, might be really based on his life, but it's at least partially connected to his life. I feel like the main character is even like either his actual name or kind of his actual name. And like there's a song, I think by the same title as the movie, Taurus. I think the song is the same title as the movie name. And like I was con- like I was hi- like I was listening to the song for a while, you know, like. It, it was different. It was different than other songs that maybe have been angels for me before or something, um, or just how other because there's a way that some other songs like stick, and I'll like listen to them over and over. But this was different. <laughs> and one, there was one time in a locker room in Planet Fitness that I was like explaining this to someone, and it's interesting because when I was like explaining how like there's a song that like the way that it sticks is like different than other songs. However, I worded it. Um, and like, it, it like went away. Like that song didn't stick that way for me anymore. And to me, that shows me, like I don't know if that's God's way of telling me or something, but I feel like it was sticking to me that way because it was supposed to. Um, it, it, you know, I can even think of like when I was younger, playing Kingdom Hearts 2 for maybe the first time, I don't know. But when I was younger playing Kingdom Hearts 2, I was concerned, unless it was Kingdom Hearts 1. It was either Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2. I want to say Kingdom Hearts 2, where um, I was concerned that, like, I was getting too, uh, I don't know, obsessed, passionate about Kingdom Hearts or something. And I maybe I prayed. I don't know if I prayed for God to take the pleasure away. I don't know what I, I don't know if I asked for that or if I just, prayed about the concern or what, or for me not to be too obsessed with it, so I think I prayed something, and I couldn't feel pleasure playing Kingdom Hearts 2 or whatever anymore, or Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2, and then I like prayed, I think I prayed again maybe to get the pleasure back, and it came back or eventually or something, I don't know, but, <laughs> but, yeah, man, with all these all these reflection videos that I've made, right? Like doing Mind Valley stuff. Um I'm fortunate that I hadn't done I'd done the lesson today for the six phase meditation, the the redoings that I'm doing. Um I had done the lesson already, but I hadn't done the meditation. Um and so when I was Feeling like I thought we'd be here. I'm I'm helping a friend with something. Or I was, and I thought I'd be from three to six. It was seven. It was like near seven. We we're still working. So I told her we'd be at seven. I was gonna work on my own stuff. So I listened to the meditation, and now I'm doing this. Um, and then between those two things, I I did something that I've um, regarding the mother of um, the person who this band is connected to. Um, like I've been trying to message like something in related to in relation to the move situation or something inspiring or something like that every day. So I kind of asked a question or stated something because apparently they may be moving early. I found out before um, I came to this. I'm at a school right now. I don't even know if they're still working. <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> Since no one's came and like been like, I be where are you? Um, but before, so I got a ride from the apartment of the mother of the person who's connected to this band. Um, I got a ride from the apartment, and then I was doing stuff here with them, and then um, I like there's stuff that I haven't um, worked on today that I still need to work on. Um, but after doing this, like I've I've kind of, it's good that, it's good that I made that, uh, decision because I was already unconnected to, I mean, being here longer than I thought I would be, 
is a little something, you know, there's other little things of the day, but there is something that really was hard for me today. Um, and so it's good that like, I took that step of being like at seven. So if some minutes before seven, at seven, I'm gonna step off and do my own thing. And then she came and asked if I could help with another thing. And that like, that mess, because I'm like, it was during my meditation, like, I'm already at a point of being like, whatever, and then I just, and then I went in there, at first I had said that, like, I'll just do it before we leave or something, but like, I, I went in there, and then she had already done it, and then I turned to my friend again, and was like, I'm like, I, I want to focus on stuff, like, it just seems like women, like, just keep, because like, with this friend, this is the friend that like does my lawn that like does my laundry like she brought my laundry today right so like this is the friend that like does that and like does all these other kind things like the person from the ice cream cookie dough whatnot place like she like she would always put stuff in my backpack like you know she does my laundry like she does all these kind things so actually what I'm I guess normally this isn't an issue with her actually but I'm just connecting it to like a woman thing because with the mother of this person, of the person this band is connected to, like, it just, I mean, she, the mother of the person that this band is connected to is really like, is, you know, like I've said, like, she's really loving. She's really, um, she like, she's special in like the love and patience that she has, but like, and she gives a lot, like she, feeds people in that apartment every day like she you know she gives she's like giving she, like she you know but like like she gives her food all the time she doesn't normally finish stuff um that's on her plates like she ends up sharing it with her boyfriend or she like I don't know she's she's just a giving person kind of or not even kind of like she's but she also ends up like wanting a lot or like asking a lot kind of and sometimes it's stuff that I do of my own accord that I like give her something or give a lot of hugs or something that like I'm the one who does it. So it's it's kind of on me. Like some of it maybe without her even asking. So it's just so because of feeling like so now I'm connecting today's experience to that. And that is not the big thing that has me. Um, that was hard for me today. The hard thing for me today is that this person that I'm here with, um, like at the end of last year, like, so maybe, I don't know, weeks or a month or something ago now, I was working with her husband and her husband said, like, brought up the concern of like me saying, I love you to her. And it was a decent, um, it was a the talk that we had, because I had I had wanted to bring up to him, like, if it was okay to, like, kiss her on top of the head or something of that sort, like, which, I mean, maybe is extra, but, like, I have run into someone that didn't like um, someone kissing their girlfriend, which was, kind of surprised me, but, like, but, um, but so I had wanted to ask him that, so that was on my mind, so when he brought that up, like, I brought up, like, oh, I'd wanted to ask you about this, but, like, I didn't get to like have firm grounding in that conversation that or to have like solid takeaway that day. So I have been struck like, bro, like the stuff in my internal universe in regards to this from something simple, because basically it equates to like that. he do So like instead of saying I love like instead of saying I love you, like I've been like trying to like give like these positive messages or inspirational messages or something that like essentially equal I love you, but that, which which is actually maybe for the better because I love you is such a general thing. And when, but then when you have like specific well wishes or specific things like that actually might be kind of better. That actually might be kind of better um, in a way. Or that actually might be kind of better. Am, am I saying that actually might be kind of, hopefully I'm saying my grammar right, but that actually might be kind of better. Um, but like, I like I think, and I think when we had that talk, he said like, 
that, or at least just not to say it in front of him, which is contradictory to my moral, like, what I try to do, because I would think what I should, that I should be able, that whatever I'm doing in, when he's not there, more or less, I should be able to do when he is there, kind of, like, more or less, that, or that's kind of the thing, or the ideal, but, but apparently, like, it might be a trigger for him, but I didn't have, like, a, I mean, we, like, shook hands, I maybe even, like, gave him a hug or something, but, like, after I left from there, um, I mean, we even taught, we even ended up between something I said and what he said after, there was even the idea of, like, that this is us moving closer or something to each other, or so, something, kind of, like, this is the steps towards being closer or something, but then after I left from there, it was a movie day, like, I couldn't focus on Puss in Boots, which is a great movie, but I had trouble focusing, like, I, like, and it's just, in my own internal universe, like, he didn't mean for all this, I don't believe, like, but it just, it was a lot, like, at one point, it was like, you know, I thought of my 42 Fortitudes, um, a calm moment, and it was like, a God thing of, like, just being able to, like, I don't know, when tough moments happen, or moments like these, to, like, flow with, these difficult moments, and it became like an upgrade to my accomplishment fortitude. Um, at one point, at one point, I was thinking like, of at one point, it was like a realization of like, what people's like, I don't know, wives and or children or like the family unit or some something, like what that means to people or that or like a recognizing of that. There was a point where it was kind of like that for me, and like, I don't know, kind of seeing the importance of that or like realizing that I want to respect that maybe I don't know but it was a realizing of that like like wife children husband like that like that like the importance of that or like kind of recognizing that or like thinking of maybe how I want to respect that maybe or something and then at one point it was like I wanted to just run away from her or something like not the husband but the the wife who is the main friend like just wanting to like run, run away from her um, but then, <laughs> like, one of the things that he had said when we had talked is that, uh, like, light hugs. And, like, so if I, like, went away from her life and then came back, like, can't give her a big hug or something. So this was just... And then today, like, I haven't seen her before today, I don't think. Be, like, I had messaged her, like, and I hadn't even talked... After this time that I worked with her husband and that talk happened and whatnot, like, I hadn't talked to her for a, a while, like, I maybe talked to her here and there a little, but, like, but, like, today, like, when she brought the laundry, I think this, that might be the first time that I actually saw her since then, maybe, um, and then, but to, ne but then this evening, her and, her, and I didn't know her husband was coming to this, too, and so that was hard for me, like, even though, there was the idea of like that we would be getting closer from this or something like it was hard for and he seemed awkward at first too like he didn't say hi for a while like as like when he came up to the car and i could tell it was him like unless he didn't know i was there or something like he like i mean i couldn't see his head i could just but he didn't say anything then when we when i walked in like and there was like a group of people thought like he didn't he didn't say hi, but later, later he like talked to me and like was inquiring about like what's going on in the week and and even when he said, like and when, um, he was eating and maybe I was eating behind him, he like turned and talked to me and stuff and like before he left, he like came up to me specifically along with other people that he said bye to, but he and he like shook my hand and said goodbye. So like, but that just him being here today was hard. Like, I guess I've gotten to a point of being okay with, like, her, kind of, like, and actually she got to meet um, the mother of um, the person who's connected to this band today, because when I was leaving the apartment, um, that mother was leaving the apartment, too, so, like, I was like, oh, do you want to meet um, this person, because um, this friend that I'm here with now had wanted to come up in the apartment one time when she was, like, bringing laundry or, or g gonna get laundry, I think. Like, maybe she had driven me to the apartment, maybe after work or something, I don't know. And she had asked if she could, like, c 
come in and I didn't think that was a good idea. <laughs> um, but so now like since um, the mother of the person who's connected to this bond happened to be leaving, um, I was like, oh, do you want to meet um, so-and-so? Um, so, so said so-and-so, the friend that I'm here with today who had wanted to come up into the apartment this other time that she had maybe driven me from work and then was going to get laundry. Um, and I didn't want her to come into the apartment that day. Um, did get to meet at least um, the mother of the person connected to this band. Um, and the person that I hung out with for like four days in a row, some, some weeks ago that I talked about, I'm potentially going to be hanging out with her this weekend. Cause she invited, normally I'm the person that is like, do you want to hang out or whatever? But this time this person reached out to me, but we also had to talk about how like, I, cause I brought up that like people don't normally reach out to me. So that probably plays a part in it. Um, yeah, and 